to debut some brand new features coming to your Xbox One very soon. We're here with Jordan Ronica and Ornt I'm sorry, I couldn't pronounce your name. Could you pronounce it for me? Antal. Antal, thank you very much. Antal, you're from AMD. You guys from Microsoft want to thank you guys for joining us. We're going to talk about some really cool stuff. Now, next week, Xbox Insiders in the Alpha Ring will be able to start using AMD Radeon FreeSync displays for variable refresh rate output on Xbox One S and Xbox One X. Now, Antal, I want to, what does that mean? Could you explain to us what FreeSync is? Sure, absolutely. So, uh, first of all, really psyched to be on the show. Thank you. Um, really stoked about, you know, Xbox being the, Xbox One being the first, uh, outside of the PC ecosystem device to, to, uh, to adopt FreeSync. Mm -hmm. So FreeSync basically, if you have a display gaming on it, usually it has a, uh, a standard refresh, a fixed refresh of 60 hertz. So okay. the screen will always refresh 60 times a second. Okay. So the, the GPU or the, the console is trying to output the game at that exact rate, mm -hmm. but sometimes it goes above and, and it, sometimes it goes lower. Sure. Um, so. You can you can see artifacts like stuttering and, and tearing. I'm sure everybody who's a who's a gamer has seen those artifacts before. So what FreeSync does is it gets basically get gets rid of those artifacts. So it's a smooth gaming experience. Can you tell us what's going on under the hood between the console, the display, and the GPU? Tell me a little bit about. Let's open up the hood and tell me about the technology. So sure. So um, so AMD supplies the chips for for the Xbox One mm -hmm. console. So uh, basically, what it does it uh, it allows FreeSync allows the monitor refresh to synchronize to the, uh, to the output of the, of the game. So yeah. if, it, if the game renders at 45 frames per second, the, the monitor can go to 45 frames per second, and that will result in a really smooth gaming experience. And usually when you hook up a device to a monitor, it just outputs the device. But there's actually the monitor and the, the device, in this case, the Xbox One uh, S or the X, they're actually communicating a little bit, right? Exactly. They're, they're, they're in full synchronicity. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, whatever the, the GPU or the, the Xbox is putting out uh, for the game, that's exactly what the monitor is going to. Now, I know what a lot of my tech friends are going to ask is, well, Antal, what version of FreeSync are we using here? So that's yeah, what I'm going to ask you. <laughs> so the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X are going to use FreeSync 2, which okay. means um, it also supports HDR, which is high dynamic range rendering. I'm sure the Xbox One fans are uh, familiar with that. So yeah. that's the new version of FreeSync 2. Yeah, that's fantastic. I, mean, I know I'm looking forward to getting a hands on that. Of course, you'll need a display that supports that. It, exactly. It's, uh, it, it requires a, a FreeSync display that is capable of FreeSync over the HDMI output. There you go. All right. Now, one of my next, one of the next things we're talking about is one of my favorite features and I'm going to talk about using game mode on their TV. Now I know some people may at home may use it. You may not know what it is, but we're going to do something a little different, right? With, aren't we going to do that, Jordan? We are. So if you're not using game mode right now, whenever you're playing your games, you really should be. Uh, right. It's a, it's, a lot of people don't know what it is, but it's a, a special low latency video mode okay. your TV has. So oftentimes it'll completely bypass some of the video processing that a TV would otherwise be doing. Because I know a lot of people get their Xbox home or their console and they turn it on and all of a sudden they're like, well, it's, it looks like a soap opera. Yeah, yeah. Right? Or you might get like some weird little effects yeah. around your character. That's not coming from the console. That's being done by the TV. Right. Turning on game mode gets rid of all that. But you have to usually, and, and everybody calls it different. Some, a lot of them call it yep. game mode. But it's always in a different place sometimes at the top of the monitor. You know, sometimes you got to figure out where in the menu to find it based on the manufacturer. Right, right. And, and sometimes you might run into a circumstance where you, you have game mode turned on for your game, but maybe you want to use it. Uh, or turn it off whenever you're going and doing something like watching a Netflix video sure. or you know going to YouTube. So there's something new, something new that's enabled by the HDMI 2.1 spec called Auto Low Latency Mode. Okay. And what that basically does is it lets the Xbox One tell the TV whenever you're about to start playing a game, so it can automatically turn on game mode, so you can benefit from that low latency and that reduced input lag. So whenever you do something, whenever you press a button on your controller you're going to see that change happen more quickly on a TV. It's happening very quickly anyway, yeah. but you're reducing that input lag. And that's that huge because now you don't have to like, oh, I'm going to play a game now. Let me go find the controller, dig down, turn it on, play your game, play your game for two, three, four days, and you want to watch a movie or maybe something else, you don't want to turn it off. This will actually handle all of that seamlessly. For exactly, you. exactly. So the moment you go into a game, game mode turns on. As mm -hmm. soon as you drop out of a game, that low latency mode turns back off, and you can still go and watch a video and have all the video processing happen on the TV. When can we see that? So uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn on that feature in just a few days. Mm -hmm. um, TVs that support that feature are gonna be coming out soon. Uh, Samsung was nice enough to loan us a TV that we, uh, we did a little testing on the other day. I think we have some, some footage of that that we may have been showing. Uh, but those will be coming out later in 2018. 
That's exciting. Now, I understand we've also got some changes coming to the browser on Xbox One X, Microsoft Edge. Yes, yes. So we introduced a bunch of new features last week, and the new Microsoft Edge browser was one of those. Uh, so if you previously had used the, the Microsoft Edge browser on Xbox One, it was kind of the older Windows 8 style. Well, now we've updated so that the Microsoft Edge browser on Xbox One is going to look exactly like what you see on Windows 10. Yeah. Your navigation bar up at the top is exactly where you would expect it to be. Your settings, your favorites, your tabs, they're all right there. And uh, additionally, your cursor is going to kind of jump around uh, intuitively between interactive it's elements. It's smart. It knows where yes, to go, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, it also enables another really cool thing that's it's my favorite feature of the new Microsoft Edge browser is that you can now download and upload uh, videos and pictures oh. uh, directly to your console or to attached external storage. Right. So you could do something like download a photo from your favorite photography website and then set that as your background, your custom background on Xbox One. Real quickly and easily. Yeah. That's exciting. I know a lot of people use Microsoft Edge on the console. I'm surprised, actually, that a lot of people do. But they like browsing, sitting back in their room and using the controller. So this is a great, great news for that. Now, I'm actually, we're really excited about this next one. We actually debuted this next feature last week to fans on the Xbox Insider Ring. But I want to touch on the new Share Controller feature on Mixer. That's, that's really exciting. Let's talk about that. Yeah, Share Controller is extremely cool. So what it basically does is it shares some of the attributes of the Copilot feature that we've had on Xbox One for yeah. a while. Uh, but it's doing it through Mixer. So you're able to basically, for all intents and purposes, virtually share your controller with one of your viewers. It's like you're handing them your controller and yeah. saying, all right, help me out in this game. Mm -hmm. um, now, it's kind of important to, to note that you're sharing control. They're not necessarily taking control. Right, right. So you're still going to have control on your end the entire time, but they basically have access to all the buttons on your controller except for the, uh, the guide button, that, yeah. that Xbox button. Of course. Way. Because it's a system level button. Now I tried this out, and it's actually kind of cool. You, it's exactly you go to you go into your console, you go to over to the uh, you go down a mixer, you start streaming, and there's an option called share the controller. Again, this is on the insider ring only right now. Right. This will be going out to everyone later this year. Um, and exactly that, all of a sudden, I'm ha ha virtually handing my controller through the screen to somebody out there on the internet. Could be a person. Could be a dog. Yeah, I don't and, know. <laughs> and they could help you out, or they could do the. Opposite they could not help that. you out. So anyway, <laughs> um, thank you for that. Now listen.